Okay, here we go again. Uh, once again, this is the Haitian version of the God Man. Again, let me spare you some of the details because um, the uh, the first DVD that I got was not in Creole. Uh, I had to go back and get the Creole one. And for those of you who read Creole, you'll notice that they do a good job of roughly translating their um, stuff. Passe Fimna, uh, run the movie. Chapit Yo, the chapters. Mete au pre, um, prepare yourself. And they transliterated God Man to L'homme Dieu. Yeah. Um, a few other things I wanted to point out is the Jesus character again, a uh, dark white man, non Negro, um, clean cut. He's also almost smiling, like, yeah, you know, he's looking down, like, like, oh, you know, like he's innocent and, and all that, and demure, you know, innocent. That, that's what they're trying to portray. And on this side, you have some of the caricatures from the cartoon movie. Um, obviously, you see crucifixion scene, um, the young Jesus before before the beatdown, broad shoulders. You know, he has great posture, hair slicked back. You know, the kind of guy you want your daughter to marry. Look at him again down here. He's healing people um, and just doing all around good things. Again, good posture. You know, they're, they're um, promoting like a positive image of this character. And um, this is a scene um, from the standoff between uh, the Jesus character and the devil character. Guess which one is in dark or black. You got it. It's of course the devil, who's also masculine, obviously broad shoulders right here, you know, females, you know, you guys need to stand back. Okay, so we're going to run the, the movie. I'm going to spare you the beginning. Okay. All right. When I uh, saw the first movie, the one that was made for American audiences, I was expecting the same movie, same setting, same actors, and I was expecting them to play, um, you know, have like Creole speakers speak for the characters, because that would have been that would have made the most sense as far as money is concerned. Um, but they chose to have a whole different setting. Right, whole different new cast of characters, and lo and behold, this is what they're gonna show to Haitian kids. Now, I don't know if you see what I see, but <laughs> it's gonna become more obvious later on. Why, why, why this setting? I'm still trying to figure out where this is. I see palm trees, but the dirt indicates that this is not Florida. And then you have these donkeys. Like, what is this? What year is this? You know what I'm saying? And then you have two children. So let's continue. Okay. Um, the music is different. It's not that um, same guitar riff for the American audience. It's this mellow, I guess, African uh, slower beat if you will using guitar it sounds like the characters are black and they're playing uh, football which will attract the little Haitian people okay um, we're gonna talk about the girl but um, the boy his name is David or David which is King David from the Bible. Her name is Ruth, which is a Bible name as well. Okay, um, you'll find out if you didn't catch it that they're not speaking Creole. 
And when I first saw the movie in French, they were not speaking French either. The, the characters are actually speaking uh, English. So I'm trying to figure out where are these people located. Uh, English speaking looks like basically impoverished black people somewhere. Are, are they in the Bahamas? I'm trying to figure out where in the English speaking black world these people could be from. And I can tell you one thing that they are not Haitians <laughs> automatically and you'll see why. Okay, here's the first clue that these people are not Haitian. This girl, that hairstyle, right? Would have been ridiculed. Not just the length of her hair, but the style. That is so not Haitian and that alone, um, if I knew the, the people's proper culture, would have told me you know who she is where she's from and all that i doubt sincerely that one hope knew about that or cared about that and that this is what i wish to communicate to them um if you are from new i'm sorry new hope one hope media one hope if you are listening to this um we need to talk again because uh i'm trying to find out what's in the state of mind of of the directors of these people as they make these decisions okay so this character just comes running from nowhere his name is samuel or samuel which is another biblical character and that's not uncommon because the <laughs> black people <laughs> were stripped of their culture their names their religion by um christians but yet they want to come after us again and make sure they finish us off all right so does, does this child look healthy or destitute um to me he looks more destitute this one a little bit better uh he doesn't have shoes on um i don't know if you noticed but he didn't and he doesn't Oh man, friction between the boys. Random dog. Spiky hair girl. Remember they're speaking English. Random mule stops. Okay, um, I paused it here. You see the um, agrarian guy in the background with his uh, mules and buggy. And uh, this was another clue about this time to show me that and confirm <clears throat> that these are English speakers because you're going to see English signs in the background. So if you are not um, convinced that these people are speaking English, then I mean, this is your clue coming up. Cobblestone store. The place looks um new old. This structure looks relatively new, but look at the the sidings here all rusted out. I mean, where is this? Why is this man in this transportation mode? This is the kid with the um dusty feet. Just disgraceful man his, his hair is all um unkept as well and and i i watch these things like this girl's um disposition is not haitian um girls just don't walk like that i don't know where she's from but she she's i don't know that's, that's not Haitian at all. Just her, her whole, how she carries herself is just all off. I mean, I know they're actors, but. Okay, this woman right here. I, you can try to see that she's Haitian, but I mean, like, I asked my wife, like, we, we both agree that that's, that's not a Haitian woman. I mean, we just kind of, I mean, she could be, but most likely not. Okay, fruit and... I guess vegetables for sale. Health carrots. This is definitely an English-speaking 
place and once that was confirmed i was thinking soweto south africa either way they don't really think highly of um i guess haitians um, at this point i'm infuriate infuriated because i'm thinking like yo are they saying that you know they would rather spend money to do this this brand new production because they figured that we would identify with these characters uh, i really felt insulted and on on top of that when i got the wrong cd i felt like maybe that you know they didn't know the difference between um haitian creole and french um and they just kind of you know made the, the product and just pumped it out there because they kind of heard that haitians speak french as well um but um I figured that they're going after poor children in Haiti and, and those poor children probably don't speak French as a primary language, so. I notice how neat everything is organized and everything and it looks like a set. The voiceover talent actually do a decent job in their Creole, so I give them props for that. But um, at the same time, knowing the aims of the company and seeing the first movie um, as a, a basis of comparison, um, I can kind of hear the transliteration of the words. Uh, they try to carry some minute idioms of the English into the Creole and you know it kind of sticks out because if if the script was based from Haitian Creole I mean it w we would be different <laughs> Look at the dude's hair, I mean, it's... Yeah, he, he's, um, he's supposed to be destitute because his father's abusive, but damn. Alright, so here comes this guy. Now, I, I'm a film student, graduate, whatever, from Miami-Dade. And uh, I see a lot of things going on here. All of a sudden, they switch from a, a low angle, so to speak, um, to a high angle. When 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 they were talking to the the owner of the shop, the female, they were talking. They were shooting up at her. Now that this this huge Negro comes, now the angle shifts down. Like it gives me that feeling of authority. Like we're looking down upon you, and you know I'm taking pity on you type. And this, this gentleman is just massive compared to these skinny kids and that lady. Um, if they're supposed to be sort of, I guess, impoverished. I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking like how this guy got so brolic, so, so diesel. He has that power look. You know what I mean? Like a, a friendly, friendly a bouncer. Like a father figure, but... He'll kick your ass. Of course, I'm not saying that Haitians can't look, you know, brolic as well. It's just that there's a something not. I mean, like they're act, they're actors. Okay, so the kids were heading to like a soccer game, and they fought, and then accident happened. So homeboy said, all right, go ahead and go back to the game. All right, so another thing I noticed, like, like where, where is this? <laughs> I'm thinking this, this is Soweto or whatever. Look at the brick housing, no paint. You see, like, clothes hanging out there. You know what I mean? No, no, nothing. What year is this? Well, according to One Hope, it's 2000 now. This is totally unacceptable, in my opinion. I think the girl.